Hi guys, welcome to Flip the Deck Tarot. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at how the person on your mind felt the last time you either saw or spoke to them. So we're going to look into their deeper feelings, what was going through their mind when they saw you or spoke to you last, and maybe even what went through their mind after this interaction between the two of you ended. So we have four readings today. For reading number one, we have this ring card, and this will go with the carnelian. Let's see. For reading number two, we have the eye card, and this is going to go along with the blue lace agate. For reading number three, we have the mask card, and this is going to go with the unikite. And for reading number four, we have the turtle card, and this will go along with the lapis lazuli. So take as much time as you need, pause the video if you need to, um, and pick the reading that is calling to you the most. I'm going to have your timestamps down below in the description box, and I'm going to jump in with reading number one. I will see you in your reading. Hi, number one, if you resonated with the ring card and the carnelian, this is going to be your reading. We're going to look at how the person on your mind felt the last time that you either saw or spoke to them. So I'm going to move your card off to the side and we are going to take a look at some um, oracle energies just to get a feeling for what was going through this person's mind the last time the two of you interacted. number one what was going through this person's mind the last time you saw or spoke to them how did they feel how did this person feel number one how is this person feeling the last time you saw or spoke to them Okay, I think we're going to do, let's do top of the deck energy and bottom of the deck energy. Okay. So we have the frog and the deer. Um, yeah, for some reason I feel like <laughs> reversing those. So I don't know what that's about. Um, kind of just an intuitive feeling, but... This is pretty much the, the combined energy that this person was feeling. And I just feel like um, this sensitivity of the deer, these are actually both very sensitive animals. We'll get into that. But I feel like the sensitivity of the deer was kind of the initial energy. So I just felt like that card needed to go first. Um, they were feeling very sensitive, actually. So I think that your last interaction with this person brought up a lot of emotion um, and, and kind of had them in their feelings a little bit. A lot of emotions came up for them. With this dear energy, I feel that this person was being kind of timid. They were being reserved. They maybe even felt a little bit um, hesitant or a little bit anxious. Um, it feels to me like there was something they were holding back. And for some of you, I feel like this person was holding back because there was something they were waiting to hear from you. I'm really drawn to um, this deer's ears here and I feel like this is kind of the energy of somebody waiting expectantly to hear something to receive some sort of message or to get some sort of guidance and it just feels to me like this is somebody who's listening more than they're talking um, and even if they were kind of talkative I feel like there was something that they were listening for like there was something in particular that they wanted to hear you say and on that topic, they weren't offering up very much information, but it's like they wanted to hear it from you. Yeah, very expectant energy here. I think that, I think they may have gotten their hopes up about this conversation or this meeting, or they kind of hoped that your um, conversation or interaction would go in a particular way. So it feels like there was some expectation here. I get the feeling that this person was almost like lost in a sea of emotion um, and that this is the way that they feel when they're around you. They're kind of, 
I feel like they're out of their depth a little bit when it comes to the amount of emotion that they feel. It might be kind of uncomfortable for them or foreign for them and they almost want some reassurance of some kind. Um, it just, it, it kind of feels like they want to appear like they're very grounded. We have this mixture of earth and water energy here. And I'm getting a really emotional sense from both of these cards. So I feel like there is a lot of emotion and there's a lot, um, almost like their head is kind of swimming. So that's kind of my sign for um, the emotional feelings kind of get in their head and it makes it hard for them to think clearly. And it feels like they want to outwardly uh, appear like they are very grounded, but inside they're kind of swimming around in all of these different emotions. So they want to seem cool, calm and um, collected, but they tend to feel like they're being swallowed up by all of this emotion when they're around you. And I don't think that this last interaction or this last conversation was any different for them. It's the same kind of energy. Um, you may have seen this person in a setting where they felt like they had to keep their emotions under wraps. So that could be where that held back energy is. They could have like been at work for instance and they just didn't think that it was like appropriate to express emotion or there could have been onlookers or someone who was close enough to hear the conversation that the two of you were having even if this was something that took place over the phone and you might not be aware of who um, who might have been around this person it's like they were holding back because they were afraid of being judged or they felt silly there might have even been something they wanted to say to you that they just didn't think was appropriate for whatever setting they were in. Because, um, yeah, I do feel like this person left a lot unsaid. They were listening to hear a lot, but they left a lot unsaid. And I feel like when you walked away um, from this conversation or like when this conversation was over, there's kind of a sense of longing. Um, they might have like watched you leave or sat and thought about the conversation that you had for hours. Um, I'm really picking up on that energy from, especially from this dear energy. I feel like they missed you as soon as this, um, this conversation or this interaction was over. Yes, yeah, something about your last interaction with this person made them realize that it's like something was, something's missing from from their life. When they watched you walk away or when they hung up the phone or this conversation ended, they kind of feel like they were longing to continue. But it's interesting because I don't get the energy of them um, expressing that or reaching out to say that. Almost like they wanted to stop you as you were walking away or they wanted to um, let's say this was a phone conversation they wanted to pick up the phone and call you right back or send you another message right away to let the to let you know that they were still thinking about you or that there was something more they wanted to say but i get this energy of them kind of just <laughs> kind of keeping that all to themselves yeah this this person is coming through as someone who is very sensitive at their core um yeah, this is probably, an, I think what's happening in your connection, we're going to look at the tarot, but I feel like this is someone who's very sensitive at their core. They might not let that um, be expressed very often, but it's like you fill some sort of emotional gap for them or you tap into some really sensitive, very soft, very nurturing side of them. And it could be that you've shown them uh, kind of a nurturing energy, but there's something really... Uh, really tender that they kind of want to tap into and explore with you but it's it's almost like there's a little bit of a wall up or there's something that they don't feel um, comfortable with in some way they're just not feeling comfortable I'm also noticing like a lot of the green through these cards so this is a lot of heart-centered energy and this is um, again that sensitive energy this might be something that they are unfamiliar with they might not be that comfortable tapping into that heart-centered energy so we will um, we'll explore that. We will look at that. Let's look at the tarot. What was this person thinking and feeling when they last saw you or spoke with you? Number one. What did they think? 
think or feel. Yeah, we've got Ten of Cups energy here. And you were also drawn to the ring. So I was kind of, um, I was wondering about that. I was wondering if all of these deep emotions had this person thinking about more commitment, kind of a deeper commitment. So we have the Ten of Cups. What did this person think or feel the last time they saw you or spoke with you, number one? Six of Swords and the Six of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Really interesting. The fact that you had two sixes come out back to back, um, it kind of makes me wonder because sixes do talk about uh, some sort of stability. They talk about um, a balance to a situation, bringing more balance to a situation. Five of Swords. What did this person think or feel the last time they saw you? death card wow transformation here there's a lot of transformation this person was focused on their own growth and their own transformation we have the two of swords eight of wands at the bottom of the deck um, I think this person wants to move a lot faster than they are moving currently um, might have to move all of this up so that you can see there's like this desire, this almost under undercover energy, I want to say, like um, energy that they're keeping under wraps of them wanting to actually move this connection forward a lot faster than they seem to be moving. But it's like there's this transformation that they are working through on the cusp of. There's something that they need to change about their situation or there's a decision that they need to make. And this could even just be that they want to kind of grow into somebody who can express their emotions more or um, someone who can let you know how they're feeling. But this fast moving energy being at the bottom of the deck, it's kind of like the energy that is um, underlying, but it might not be expressed. So I do feel like there, there's this feeling of wanting to speed things up with you. Um, and this feeling of wanting more commitment, like wanting to move this to a place where there is more commitment with this ring card and the Ten of Cups. But I do see that there's something this person either, something they want to move away from, something they need to move away from, and a decision that needs to be made with this Two of Swords. So with the Six of Swords energy, this could indicate that there's distance between the two of you. And this could be emotional distance, um, but this could be physical distance. The two of you might not live near each other. And I also kind of pick up on that energy with the Eight of Wands as well. Um, this can talk about kind of traveling a distance or closing a gap, and they want to do that quickly. Um, but it does feel like something might be holding them back. So a lot of this, um, a lot of this energy of sixes is kind of the energy of what's going on in the past for this person. So I do feel like there's something in this person's past that they want to move away from. And there's also something in their past that they're feeling um, kind of nostalgic about, but also it's like it's bringing some worry or concern or there's something they don't feel that they can do. So for some of you, this might be someone you've had a connection with. With this Six of Cups, Six of Cups energy is very sweet energy. Um, it's very 
almost nurturing energy and it can be about memories from the past it can be about reminiscing about the times that the two of you shared but it did come up in reverse so for this person this could be that they feel that they can't tap back into that energy that the two of you once shared and the last time you saw them or spoke with them they were thinking a lot about the memories that that the two of you made they were thinking about the time that you spent and it just feels like they like they might have worried that they couldn't get back to that place um especially with this five of swords here it's like they feel that they may have walked away from something or they may have uh, lost something that can't be regained now if this is a new connection and you don't have a history with this person this can be pointing to some of the experiences or the hardship, the hardships that they have faced in relationship. And it's like, they're trying to move past this. They're trying to get to a point where they can make you some sort of offer where they can communicate these deeper emotions, but there's something in their past that they're working on leaving behind. Um, they're working on this, this transformation. And for them, the transformation they're going through might have to do with a choice. And I think for a lot of us, transforming has to do with a choice because we kind of do make the decision, like whether or not we are going to put ourselves through the process of transforming, which can be uncomfortable. So it could be that for them. And it could be that they feel that they have to choose between two things, two situations in their life, two scenarios, uh, in order to transform in the way that's going to um, kind of move this relationship forward the way that they want, which is which is very quickly with this Eight of Wands. Okay, I want to clarify. So let's clarify this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? hearing family and this can be this can be that this person wants to move things forward in a way where they could have a family with you um, it could also be that there's there's something um, related to family that might be holding this connection back interesting interesting we have the eight of wands show up again in the reverse with the nine of Pentacles um, this person sees a deep commitment with you and I feel like that message was coming through even just with the ring. So this last interaction you had with them really spurred some thoughts about deepening this commitment, deepening this connection, um, leaving their single life behind and moving this forward very quickly. So there could even be kind of a, a feeling of impatience with this person. And it's interesting because I was picking up on this this energy of like this expectant energy. And I feel like that expectant energy can sometimes show itself in the form of impatience because there's something holding this back that it, I just I feel like they want to move this forward so much quicker than it than it's happening or they want to be able to express things um, a lot sooner than they feel they've been able to. What's up with this six of swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? And we have another Six. So Sixes might be significant or important in this connection somehow. Um, I'm thinking of the month of June. I'm thinking of Gemini season. Um, also kind of getting a Leo energy here from the um, the Six of Wands, but we could also be looking at a Sagittarius, um, even an Aries, but Leo and Sagittarius are definitely coming through a lot uh, heavier. Um, this person wants to move away from a situation in their past so that they can have some sort of victory with you, so that they can explore this connection with you. It feels to me like you have really, um, you've caught this person's attention. <laughs> and I it's like that deer energy you see the way that deer is like locked in um, you've caught this person's attention and almost in a way that has startled them a little bit or like it has them on guard and they just 
they see you as this standout. They see you as somebody who is worth transforming for, worth leaving something behind for it so that they can pursue something new with you. Let's clarify this Six of Cups in reverse. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here, Spirit? have the eight of swords so this is a mental trap this is um, feeling kind of trapped mentally getting in your head about something so this person could be in their head about their past about something that has taken place in their past and being able to move past it they could also get in their head about the emotions that they feel for you and they want to make you this offer but what is keeping them um, back what's kind of holding them back is this mental prison that they find themselves in they, these are like um self-imposed restrictions this is uh like a, like an imprisonment of the mind so it's it's almost like they can't see themselves out of or they're struggling to see a way out of um this this scenario they're struggling to find a way that they could make you this offer that they could express themselves more five of swords in reverse clarify that I feel like there's a sense to this person they just want to cut their losses about something and I don't know what that's about the tower <laughs> um, because with that five of swords there's this feeling that there's something they just they would rather just walk away from it they would rather just just move on even if they can't um, find they can't figure out how to be victorious in the situation so this could be like a past relationship or even a relationship that they're currently wanting to get out of but there's kind of this feeling like maybe I should just accept the fact that this isn't gonna work out that um, I'm not gonna be victorious here and just kind of just kind of cut my losses do you know what I mean um, that kind of energy where you're like you might have been trying to keep it together in some way. You might have been trying to um, save face or repair something. But at some point you have to say, you know, even if I did waste time or even if I um, have to leave certain things behind that I've spent time building, I might just want to walk away from this. So this person could have experienced some sort of tower moment in their life. They could have had something fall apart for them. And um, I do feel like that's part of where this timid or this hesitant energy is coming from because they have experienced something in the past that's making them a little bit um, hesitant. It's keeping them stuck in their head, in their thoughts about this connection. What is with this transformation that this person wants to make this um, death card? Let's clarify the death card. We have Scorpio energy here. transformation okay we have the nine of cups um, this person wants to kind of move into this energy of fulfilling wishes I think they're seeing that a wish could be fulfilled with you there's something that um, feels very satisfying very very whole about the connection they feel kind of like um, they feel a certain kind of support from you they feel like there's a future there they feel like they could move on from this tower from from this this collapse that happened in their life with you so that's kind of what is spurring them to want to make this transformation but it does feel like there might be a choice for them to make with this two of swords so let's clarify that there we go we have the seven of Pentacles so this is about um, waiting uh, waiting for our harvest to come in uh, waiting to see what it is that we have produced being really patient about things so this might be something that's taken a little while um, a little bit of delayed success they might feel like it's taking them time to make this decision or taking them time to make this transformation at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords so this is a lot of worry um, it's a lot of anxiety I feel like they are kind of 
in a place of anxiety about if they're going to be able to make these changes, if they're going to be able to express themselves. Because there's a lot of emotion here for this person. There's a lot of emotion present. And it just feels like they don't feel like they can express themselves. But what's on their mind is a deeper commitment. And what's on their mind is putting what has happened for them in the past um, in the past and leaving it there, walking away from something that isn't really fulfilling to them. So let's look at some oracle cards and see what other energies... Um, are going on for this person or this might even clear up some of the energies we've already seen this last meeting that you had or talk interaction with this person brought up so many emotions for them i think it might have brought up more than you um more than you would realize because it had them thinking about making big changes in their life. It had them thinking about um, their overall happiness and what kind of happiness and growth they see with you. We have imagination. Yeah. <laughs> it had them imagining a life with you. Imagining how this could progress. Imagining where this could go. Imagining what would happen if they were able to express more emotion. What else? How did this person feel after seeing or speaking with number one? I feel like this had them in their head failure. Yeah, it had them in their head. It had them in this eight of swords energy. It had them worrying that they won't make the right choice or that they won't speak up at the right time or um, that they'll express their feelings and and they will ultimately fail, that, that they will be rejected, doubt. Yeah. Yeah, all those emotions, all those emotions brought forward a lot of doubt for this person. At the bottom of the deck, we have fear. So yeah, th this brought up fear for them that they, that they might have like, that maybe they should have expressed more. They see so much here. They see so much potential here. But it's I do think they have something that they need to work on first or something they need to put in order first. And this might just be a change of mindset for them. But it's like they feel like they have a lot of work to do. And like they are doing their best to do this work. Like they are waiting patiently with the Seven of Pentacles energy. But at the same time, they worry that they might be... Um, they might be failing. They might not be speaking up when they should. And I think that this person, like this energy of them waiting to hear something from you and maybe not saying everything that was on their mind, not speaking up about the emotions that they feel, I feel like that put them in a, in a sense of doubt. Let's get some messages, some oracle messages. So we have, I wish things could be different. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's that nine of swords energy. Um, they can worry a lot. I think sometimes they, they can stay awake and, and worry about this connection. Worry that it won't come together. You were definitely on their mind after, um, after you talked to them or you saw them. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Exactly, exactly. That's that energy, the dear energy, like watching you walk away, watching you leave or, or ending that conversation with you. It was really difficult for them and they actually wanted to run after you or they wanted to call you right back. They wanted to keep that connection going even if it was just for long enough that they could get some of this off of their chest because it's like they they kind of let the opportunity go by they feel like they they didn't speak up about all of these emotions when they had the chance what other messages do you have for number one any other messages for number one I wish I could share my good news with you. So yeah, this is just somebody that wants to make that connection with you. They want to um, open up and express. They want to communicate more. 
but it, it does feel like it's difficult for them to talk about emotions. They might worry that they'll be hurt again like they were before, or they'll be disappointed like they were before in the past. And it could even be this relationship. There could be disappointment um, in terms of this relationship. It could have, maybe the two of you were together before and um, split up and it was very hard for this person. They don't want to lose you. So we'll see if we have any other messages, um, just some channeled messages from this person. Okay, I'm in analysis paralysis over this connection. And <laughs> again, um, the the laying up late and thinking about you, I, this, sometimes I stay awake thinking of you and this Nine of Swords energy um, and the Two of Swords energy. They're, they're, and the Eight of Swords as well. They're really in their head about this. Your body is amazing. So I think there was a lot of attraction um, between the two of you the last time you saw each other. They couldn't stop thinking about you. You might have been on their mind a lot in terms of um, physicality. Um, I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. I do think that this person um, is doing what they can to facilitate this transformation. They're, they're doing the very best they can to make this transformation, but it is a little difficult for them to tap into these deeper emotions and to share and um, to to make themselves very vulnerable like this. So yeah, I think, I think I'm going to leave it there for you, number one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this reading was helpful um, for you. If you did resonate with any of these messages, uh, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it, and hopefully I will see you again in another reading really soon. Bye! Hi, number two. If you resonated with the I card and this blue lace agate, this is going to be your reading. We're going to find out how the person on your mind felt the last time you either saw or spoke with them. So we are going to begin this reading with some oracle messages and get some energies to um, kind of figure out how this person was feeling the last time the two of you interacted. However that was, whether it was in person or over the phone or through some sort of messenger um, app or something like that. So let's see what was going on for this person the last time the two of you saw each other or spoke to one another. Number two, what was going on? for this person? How did they feel the last time the two of you spoke or saw each other? How did they feel? Number two. What were they feeling, number two? Okay. So what we're going to do, got your card shuffled. I, what we're going to do, what I did in, the, um, in reading one, is we're going to take the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck energy to kind of figure out what was going on for this person. So top of the deck we have the dragonfly, bottom of the deck we have the earthworm. That's really interesting energy because it's like um, very opposing, like one is um, an air sign, very um, light and fluttery, very lifted, and the other is not only like an earth, um, an earth kind of animal, but an animal that actually lives in the earth. So um, very opposing energies there. That could indicate that this person was having kind of mixed emotions. They were having mixed feelings. They might not have known exactly um, how to feel or, or what to do, how to act. Um, that could be kind of an indication of that. I am getting um, Aquarius kind of energy coming from this. Um, also Gemini, Libra, so maybe some sort of air sign here. We could also be looking at Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We'll, we'll of course, um, kind of explore that more, but that feels kind of important here because it feels like there's such a, a, a difference in energy, and this could be somebody who has heavy air and earth placements in their chart, um, or this could actually be your energy too. You could be an air and earth sign, and they could be... Um, the, the opposite sign. So it could be something like that. The, immediately with this dragonfly card, I'm drawn to this blue triangle that is in the background here. And 
it's making me think about how dragonflies kind of hover over the surface of a pool or a body of water and then they just kind of dart away in a different direction um they move kind of sporadically they move um in a just it's very unexpected they'll, they'll just hover and then suddenly boom they're gone they're, they're off that way and then they're hovering and then they're off the other way so uh and in this blue color is leading me to the energy of the throat chakra and the desire to communicate so they could have felt like this conversation moved in a different direction than they had anticipated or it took some sort of sudden turn that they weren't uh, they weren't expecting this could even be that their communication in this interaction took a, a, a turn that you weren't expecting and this could be something that they kind of thought about or they dwelled on after this connection was over um, it might have been that they were kind of darting around an issue or avoiding an issue. So since we're looking at their feelings, this can indicate that they were feeling um, confused. They could have been feeling a little apprehensive to have this conversation with you. They could even, after this interaction was over, they could look back over how they communicated and think that they should have remained more focused or that they shouldn't have changed the subject right when they did and and kind of be kicking themselves for how they chose to have this conversation but i do feel like there there's something here about communication there's something about the desire to communicate and there's something about potentially the communication um kind of taking an unexpected turn or moving in a direction that made them feel uncomfortable or that surprised them in some way um this could very well be that they have a hard time opening up about their emotions because we're looking at this blue color, this water kind of energy, and also this feeling of communication. So when we talk about that dragonfly hovering over the water, this could be them kind of hovering over the issue, um, not really getting in deep about the issue, um, talking around the topic or hinting at things, when the two of you were talking. So this could be uh, something they regret. This could be something that they feel they were doing because they were feeling kind of uncomfortable in the situation. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like this person was very close to saying something and then they changed their mind at the very last second or um, the, the conversation was redirected right before they could say something. This could even be that it was interrupted. So this might not have been uh, purposeful on their part. It could be that the two of you were talking and then someone comes up and, and kind of like distracts you, distracts um, them from the conversation right when they were about to say something because there's this feeling that they were, it's like they had something on the tip of their tongue. And they were thinking a lot about this. Yeah, they could have even, there might be a little bit of a, a sense of regret here. So this, this could be something this person felt that they have done before. Um, this could be that there's always something that they want to say or that they almost say to you or they feel that every time the two of you talk or you see each other, they don't quite get their point across. And so this could be where this energy is coming from because I do feel like this could have happened before if this is someone that you um, have has have spoken to and interacted with on several occasions. There's this feeling that it always kind of goes the wrong way. It always takes a turn. Um, they're never able to communicate exactly what they want. Now, for those of you with a history with this person, I'm kind of getting the sense that this could have been an argument or some kind of misunderstanding and the last time they spoke to you they didn't expect this to go this way they may have upset you in some way and you were kind of bringing these issues to um to their attention and it could be that there was something that they they thought they were going to talk to you about or there was some way that they thought this interaction was going to go and it kind of took a whole different turn they might not have even responded the way that they um, wanted to or they would have if they'd had more time to think about it but it's like they were caught off guard in some way yeah the dragonfly can talk a lot about illusion so they may have felt that either they weren't being upfront about something or they were um 
kind of keeping something hidden. It could have been that they felt that energy from you, that you were hiding something or you were holding something back. Yeah, your last interaction with them may have changed their mind about something as well. That could be um, part of this energy because I just, I get this like, this darting around energy. It could be that they, uh, they had a lot of different thoughts going through their head. They had a lot of um, like decisions that they thought they were making right, like spur of the moment kind of decisions, but they may have changed their mind about something. They could have even changed their mind about what they intended to say to you based on how this conversation was going, or they could have started to see something more clearly, potentially something that they might've been trying to hide or deny or ignore. It was kind of brought to their attention in a way that made things much more clear to them. And it's like their mind was racing after this interaction. Like they have a lot to consider. Um, this person, honestly, <laughs> we're going to look at the tarot, but what I feel is that during your last interaction with this person, they weren't feeling their most confident. Um, the last time they saw or spoke with you, they weren't feeling their most confident. And I don't know if they went into this interaction not feeling confident or if um, this, this kind of happened unexpectedly. They might have felt like they were out of their element or they didn't expect to see you or they didn't expect to talk to you. So they might have a lot of regrets about what they said um, or how they appeared or something because it's like they just didn't feel like they were um, like their best selves. Maybe even embarrassed about something. Yeah, we'll have to see what that's about. It could be nerves. Yeah, it could be nerves and it could be that they were caught off guard. They didn't see this coming. They didn't expect this or some part of the conversation they didn't expect. Um, there's a feeling like they weren't prepared. Like they could have presented themselves a little bit better. or They could have been more articulate. That might be where it is with this, um, this communication. They, they feel like they didn't articulate their feelings very well. And that feeling of their mind racing, it, it could be coming from this feeling of like, they might have kind of been kind of playing out the conversation that they had with you, playing out like a do-over, um, what they wish they had said, thinking like, oh, I should have responded this way, or why did I say that? That was so stupid, something like that. Um, yeah, it's like they, they recognize that there's a lot of potential for this connection, but I feel like they, at the same time, don't think that they presented themselves in the best way or they're a little bit embarrassed about something that happened between the two of you. So let's look at uh, the tarot. And find out how this person felt after they last saw or spoke to you. How did they feel? Number two, how did they feel after the two of you last saw each other and spoke to each other? How were they feeling? Number two, how were they feeling? How were they feeling after your last interaction? I'm hearing they felt seen. Um, <laughs> yeah, they felt seen in some way. And then we have the Nine of Swords coming out. So there was a little bit of worry. Um, I was kind of picking up on that energy. There was a little bit of worry, um, maybe anxiety or replaying the scenario for them. And it could be because they think that they didn't say the right thing. Um, Maybe they feel like they could, they upset you or they, they weren't articulate enough. They wish they had asked a different question or, or had a different response. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's a lot of heavy energy here. Um, there's a, it feels like there's a lot riding on this for them. Hmm. That's a lot of cards, but it's actually the 
cards I was going, the number of cards I was going to take. So I suppose they all just came out together. Let's move everything up so you can see. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot riding on this um, in this person's mind. Some of the same kind of energies that came out for pile one are here for you as well, pile two. Hmm. There was some worry and some, like, like what I would call kind of racing mind, kind of this feeling of like not being able to stop thinking about this conversation. So whether this was presenting in the form of anxiety for this person or if this was just that they couldn't stop thinking about this last interaction, um, it, it for me, this is even saying that this person may have been thinking about this last interaction for a long time. So maybe the, this time, this last time you spoke with them or you saw them has actually been a little while. This is kind of an indication that they haven't stopped thinking about that last interaction since it happened, even if it's been a long time. I'm hearing even if it's been years, they haven't stopped thinking about it. There's something about the potential here being so great. So um, with this earthworm energy, it really is about kind of recognizing the potential of something, but not necessarily being able to express it or being able to work with it at this time. And that's the same feeling I'm getting from the Page of Pentacles. Um, there, there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot that could be grown. There's a lot that could be cultivated here, but there, there also might be some things standing in the way. Bottom of the deck, Four of Swords. Um, this person felt like they needed to sit with this energy. So especially if you like, you didn't hear from this person immediately after this this last interaction, or it's been a little while. I feel like it's because they need to um, they need to kind of sit with this energy a little bit. They wanted to contemplate this energy. There's some stuff they want to figure out. There's even some stuff that they want to almost mentally rehearse in a way um which is really interesting i do i pick up on like a feeling of insecurity from this person and i don't know if they present like this outwardly but it does feel like they're a little bit insecure about how you see them how you view them and they might have felt um like you saw a side of them that they didn't want to show you or you saw an emotional side of them or they were afraid that you might see an emotional side of them but they worry a lot about this and they they were worried about the um they were worried about this interaction the potential here is so great <laughs> with the ten of pentacles um the ten of pentacles is about a legacy it's about building something like not only building a family but also building abundance and a really prosperous life so this last interaction had them thinking along those lines which is really interesting i don't know how much history you have with this person but it's like they can see a future with you and they also see themselves as someone who is very guarded um someone who's kind of trying to protect themselves trying to hold something back and this idea of being seen and, and communicating is a little bit scary for them i'm liking this energy of nines and tens here i feel like this person might be shifting out of this and kind of moving into this page of pinnacles energy where they're seeing an opportunity here they're seeing um they're seeing all kind of the groundwork to lay something solid with you but it's like they're ch they're making this choice between between being alone and being unhappy and pursuing this connection which sounds really odd and we're going to clarify these cards but it's almost like i feel like this person might be trying to choose between this situation with you that they're seeing as this ten of pentacles and a situation where they know they won't be happy but it, what why would they want to be in that i don't know so maybe it, there's some sort of fear um about exploring something that could actually make them happy some kind of like self-sabotaging energy here um there could be something that they need to leave behind in order to pursue this energy they, they it's like they're feeling isolated They're feeling kind of abandoned and a little bit alone. And I'm also getting from this Five of Pentacles 
um, I'm just trying to pull what I can out of this energy, but I really am anxious to clarify this because with the Five of Pentacles um, here, I just feel like there's this, um, this feeling of self-doubt, this feeling of like not having the most self-esteem or um, not trusting themselves to come through or to... To, to do something, you know, we were kind of already talking about this, but the five of Pentacles can indicate kind of a low self-esteem and feeling, uh, feeling isolated. So let's look uh, deeper into this energy. The nine of swords, let's see what's going on there. Why is the nine of swords here? interesting that you got two cards there and and um reading one did as well so to clarify the nine of swords we have the high priestess and the page of cups so they're worried about following their intuition about this connection this might be where this potential and this feeling of, of low self-esteem is coming from it might be that they feel that they can't trust their intuition they're not, uh, they're not feeling like they can rely on their intuition, but what it's causing is really kind of a feeling of being alone, being isolated or being in a situation that's not making them happy. But it's like they're really afraid and really worried to follow their feelings on this. Like their intuition is telling them 10 of Pentacles energy. Their intuition is saying, um, kind of like wake up to this. Like this is, this could really be something. And if they're afraid to trust it. And there's this feeling with these pages too. Like there's an offer that they want to make. There's something they want to build. There's something they want to grow. But that page energy is, um, it can be immature energy. And this person doesn't necessarily have to be immature, but they could be someone who's not really used to exploring these kind of feelings. So they feel a little bit out of their comfort zone with that. Um, kind of that nine of wands energy that that wall that they have built up kind of has them in their comfort zone. It, they, it's like they don't want to be in there. Like they're isolated in there, but there's safety in there as well. Trusting their intuition. I feel like that's, that's huge for them. They want to just trust their intuition. <laughs> We have the Ten of Cups to clarify the Ten of Pentacles. They definitely see something here. They definitely see a future. And I feel like um, those are some of the most beautiful cards that could come out here. And this is about love. This is about romantic love. This is about building a family, building a partnership, like really deepening this connection, really going for it. Um, and again, another Ten. So I do feel like there's kind of this energy of something turning around for them and it could be that they are starting to feel more confident trusting the feeling that they have about this, trusting their intuitive feeling about this. Um, interesting with the eye too. I was kind of picking up on the message that they felt exposed or seen in some way. So it could be that there's just this connection between the two of you that uh, it's kind of forcing them out of this comfort zone a little bit and it has them thinking along those lines of like, Oh gosh, I think I, I think I may have exposed myself or I think that this this connection is gonna make me have to step out of this place that I feel protected in. I feel lonely here, but I also feel protected. But this is also making me think of the third eye and we have the high priestess. <laughs> that might be why that came out there. That might be why you got two clarifying cards because the high priestess is almost clarifying this eye card. This is the intuition. They have an intuitive feeling about this and that was a lot of what they felt after their last interaction with you was an intuitive feeling. But they might not be used to listening to their intuition. They might be um, somebody who applies more logic to a situation than intuitive feeling. Let's clarify. Oh, okay. <laughs> clarify the, um, the nine of wands with the ace of wands. 
the Ace of Wands is about a spark. It's about a passion. And I think that the last time the two of you saw each other or spoke to each other, there was a spark there. There was a passionate feeling there. And what's funny about this to me is I think that that spark is what's jolting this person out of their comfort zone. It's what they can't stop thinking about. They can't stop thinking about the attraction. They can't stop thinking about the chemistry, how well things were flowing. And it's like that chemistry and that attraction, that pull that they have towards you is what feels like it makes them want to, to break this wall down. It makes them want to explore um, what, what the world is like outside of that box, outside of those walls, outside of the confines of those walls. Um, page of Pentacles, let's clarify the Page of Pentacles, please. Why is this Page of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups, walking away from something, walking away from something to start something new. Um, they see the potential. They see the the unplowed, unsown field. So this is just like the Page of Pentacles just gives me this feeling of fertile land. It's like somebody um, knocks on your door and says, hey, you've just inherited this land and it, you can do whatever you want with it. You can build whatever you want. You can grow whatever you want. There's a whole bunch of potential there. There's work there. And maybe that land isn't located right outside your door. Maybe you have to go somewhere to like to get to it so that you can go and cultivate it. So there's this feeling that in order to start this thing, start something new, make this offer, um, see where this potential could lead, they'd have to walk away from something. Two of Swords. What's up with the Two of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here? <laughs> the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely a decision. They're weighing their options. They're trying to figure out um, what their next move should be. They're trying to potentially even juggle something um prioritize something lots of decisions for this person to make there's a lot of decisions and i think this does have to do with walking away from something leaving something in the past so that they can start something new and that's what they were that's what they were feeling they were feeling like should i trust this intuition that's telling me that i really should pursue this clarifying the five of pentacles we have the lovers um Gemini energy here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Um, strong Cancer energy. Wow. Um, there, there is this feeling of being isolated in their current situation, whether that's because they feel alone or because they feel like they've been in partnerships that aren't fulfilling to them. Um, there might even be a feeling that they want to just be by themselves. Like they might feel that they've been making choices to push people away, to push those away that would give them kind of this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy. So there's, there's so much potential. And I almost feel like this could be somebody who who feels safer in the energy of potential because you know like when you have something that's like this could grow into something more that's sometimes an easier place to be than a place of like I tried to grow this into something more and it might not work I'm trying and I ran into this problem just kind of sitting in that energy of like it could be and in that hopeful energy they might even feel safer there but they, they're not wanting to be in this five of pentacles energy they feel a real connection they feel they feel something here, but the lovers is also about a choice and it's about the strength of two, um, two people together. So they see the potential, they see the strength, they see what this could grow into. Bottom of the deck, queen of cups. Stop, stop it. There's so, there's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion here and a lot of cancer energy present. Um, a lot, a lot of cancer energy, but I'm also seeing I'm also seeing some Scorpio energy here. I'm seeing some Pisces energy here. Uh, 
oh man, I'm seeing this person really trying to tap into their more emotional side. And whatever this connection was, this conversation or this interaction, it had them, um, it's like their intention was to to skirt around the emotions, to hover over the emotions, to not get that deep into it. But it, they can't deny this intuitive feeling that they have. That, that That is undeniable for them and it's hard for them to forget it. So since this interaction, they've been like, almost trying to push this intuition away. But, <laughs> Um, I feel like I feel like there's it's just too strong for them to push that that feeling away completely. So they're they're needing to and having to tap into their intuition more, tap into that third eye kind of energy here. Let's get some oracle messages to see. What else is going on with this energy for this person? What were they feeling? So we have service, which is interesting. Let's see what else. So this card says, I feel good when I can help others. Um, gosh, this person might be kind of stuck in this place because they... They feel some responsibility for someone else or they feel um, like someone's depending on them. We have the grief card. Hmm. Let's see what else. I feel like there's potentially some loss here that this person has faced. Um, five of Pentacles energy. So yeah, there might be some some kind of loss. And I feel like this person might be in a place where they tend to put other people's needs before their own. And that could be that could be what's leaving them in in kind of this isolated feeling and leaving them in a feeling of like there's so much potential, but they might not be able to explore it. And we have happiness. They're looking for that sense of happiness with you. They're looking for that Ten of Cups, that Ten of Pentacles energy. Let's get one more. We have Change. Coming out right over the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, they're contemplating some kind of change. They could be contemplating a move, a, a literal move or a move towards you. Um, they're contemplating kind of switching this energy of loss and of isolation and um, of that wall being up, kind of switching that energy into one that provides more happiness for them, into something that, that feels like different energy. And I think what's leading them to this is their intuition. And somehow this last interaction you had with them, wow, your cards are blowing. <laughs> somehow this last interaction you had with them really sparked um, their intuition. They, they might not have even ever relied on their intuition all that much, or they, um, have ignored their intuition a lot. And it's like something about this last interaction, they couldn't ignore it. These dolphins on the happiness card are really jumping out, um, at me. Dolphins are about communication. They are about, um, happiness. Might just be a significant symbol in in this connection but again it's taking me back to that kind of watery um dragonfly energy so just pulling some um oracle messages just to see so we have i wish i could share my good news with you that card showed up in in reading one as well um there might be some sort of separation here this person might even just want to communicate with you about some of the intuitive messages that they've been getting about this connection. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on. They might be realizing and waking up to a lot of things right now, and they just don't feel like it's like it's okay, or they don't feel safe. Um, 
kind of exploring that, letting you know, telling you that. What other messages do you have for number two? I look for you everywhere. This person's looking for signs and I feel like this is new for them and something <clears throat> that took place in your last conversation or your last interaction had them noticing. This is part of the intuition. They were seeing things. They were seeing like signs and synchronicities after this last connection. So they're kind of in this place now, I think of um, looking to see if they, if they'll continue to receive these messages. Like if there's a particular number they keep seeing, every time they see that number, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the last time the two of you spoke. And it's like, they're looking for a sign that this is the right, the right thing. And I think what's happening here is that they're looking for so many signs. You know what I mean? Um, like their intuition is telling them one thing and they don't really want to just trust it. It's time for me to heal now. And that's about that change. And we also have, I love you. So, wow. Um, some really deep feelings there. Um, that might be something this person isn't able to say to you. Maybe they have never had the courage to say that to you. Maybe this is new and they're like feeling some really deep, some really deep feelings that they aren't sure they want to open up about. But they kind of feel like they're um, like their guides or like a spirit is trying to lead them. Um, it's trying to lead them towards you. And there's a little bit of resistance, but it's like they can't get it out of their mind. Let's see um, just a couple of channeled messages from your person. Wow. Okay. We have, I have a lot of healing to do. Um, coming out and we also had it's time for me to heal now so I think there's a lot this person needs to leave um, leave behind leave in their past I knew how special you are from the first moment I saw you <laughs> Wow um, yeah with that lovers card coming out and everything like there's a lot of deep feeling here and there's a lot of intuitive knowing when it comes to this connection Wow Wow We'll take the cards that flipped. There are things I'm not ready to tell you yet. Um, and you are exactly what I want. I really feel strongly with that. There are things that I'm not um, ready to tell you yet. This person and like the depth of feeling, the intuitive hits that they've gotten about this connection or the signs that they've been seeing, they haven't, they don't feel comfortable opening up about that yet because they almost feel um, crazy. Um, I hate to use that word, but it's like, they don't know how you'll respond to that. Or like, if you'll know what they're talking about, if you would have seen the same signs, if they'll just sound weird. Um, and how, like th how long they've been feeling this way about you or how deep these feelings are, they feel a little bit hesitant to share that with you. Uh, but they do, like, they want to open up about it. They want to make these changes because they really see something in you. They see how special you are. They see that you are what they want. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Number two, thank you so much for um, hanging out with me and letting me read your cards. I hope this reading was helpful for you. If you did like this, um, this reading, if you resonated with any of these messages, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. And hopefully I will see you again in another reading really soon. Bye. Hi, number three, if you resonated with the mask card and the unikite, this is going to be your reading. We're going to find out how the person on your mind felt after you last saw them or spoke with them. So I'm going to move your card and your stone off to the side and we will start the reading with some oracle messages from the animal spirit deck and get a feel for what was going on for this person the last time the two of you um, saw each other or talked to each other. Number three. What was going on for this person the last time the two of you spoke? Or the last time the two of you saw each other? What was this person's energy, number three, the last time the two of you spoke or saw each other? Number three. The last 
time the two of you spoke or saw each other. Okay, that's it. So um, what I've been doing is taking the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck energy and we will see what's going what was going on for this person the last time the two of you spoke or saw each other so we have the fish at the top of the deck and at the bottom of the deck we have the otter okay um two water element um cards coming out here uh which is significant because it looks like there was some emotional connection the last time the two of you spoke or saw each other a lot of emotions came up for this person i'm getting heavy pisces energy here um you or this person may be a pisces or this this last time you spoke to this person could have happened in pisces season i'm also feeling cancer scorpio energy coming through um, so that might be significant for you as well there is this feeling of there's this feeling that they let you slip away um yeah there, there's this feeling that they let you like get away they let you slip away you slipped right out of their hands you slipped right between their fingers um so this could be something about you being the one that got away, something like that. This could be specifically about this last interaction where it's like you you slipped away or um, you like you got out of their grasp somehow. This is this is weird energy. If this is someone you have a connection with, um, like a, a previous connection, you were maybe in a relationship with this person, then this is um this is letting me know that the last time this person saw you or the last time the two of you spoke they firmly realized that you were the one who got away they realized that this connection really slipped right through their fingers that they let something go that they didn't want to let go hmm there could also be this feeling of like um they didn't want this this interaction to end that's kind of energy that i've been picking up on i think that came through in one of the other readings but this slipping away thing it could be that it could be that the last time the two of you saw each other it might not even be that they didn't want it to end but it could be that maybe the two of you didn't get to talk maybe you just saw each other um, from across the room and by the time they could make it over to you or, or get away from the conversation that they were in you had already left or, or they could they didn't know where you were and it could be that kind of a feeling or it was very brief it was in passing or something and they just feel like the opportunity slipped by like they let the opportunity slip by they might have thought they had more of an opportunity with you they were they were going to see you again they were going to run into you again they, they were going to talk to you again and um, it just seems like it kind of slipped by this could also be the energy of um, things not matching up, schedules not matching up, circumstances not seeming to line up, because I feel like this person wanted more. They wanted to talk to you more. They wanted the interaction to continue on. And it might be that since this last interaction, um, circumstances are not lining up so that the two of you can talk. You might have conflicting schedules. You might have a lot going on in your lives individually, and they just haven't been able to kind of line things up so that the two of you can spend more time together so the two of you can talk more um hmm i feel like for a lot of you this might be a like a past connection this could be something that maybe you like you were in a relationship with this person or it was going smoothly at some point um because this is kind of the energy of some kind of ending or some kind of break so they're thinking they're kind of thinking a lot about how they didn't want this connection or this bond that the two of you had to end they didn't want that to be broken um, something I'm, I'm picking up on the sense that something has gotten more difficult for this person since you left their life or since the last time the two of you spoke. Yeah, it feels like some circumstance in their life has gotten more difficult and I feel like they're relating this to you in some way. 
um, that something is more difficult without you in their life or that they want to talk to you about something that might be more difficult um, for them, like something may have happened in their life that they want to talk to you about. But yeah, there's this feeling of like things have gotten harder, things have gotten worse. And it could be that this uh, this interaction kind of spurred something for them and now they're seeing things um, as more difficult or they're seeing life as like harder to get through without you in their life or without being able to talk to you. Um, I feel this really, this sense of them really missing you. They miss just seeing you. Um, and for some of you, they miss this deep connection that you've shared if you've had more of a history with this person. It's like they feel kind of restless without you um, or when you're not around, they just feel kind of restless. It's like they, they're they always thinking about seeing you again. They're thinking like anticipating the next time that they see you. Because I'm, I'm getting this energy because on one hand with this fish, fish energy, we have somebody who is just kind of going through the motions of life. Um, it, there's almost this feeling of like being fed up or being bored with life, not feeling very excited, not feeling very inspired. And then on the other hand, we have this otter energy and otter energy is very um, jovial. It's very playful. It's, it's, um, it's energy that's full of joy. And it's like looking forward to what's to come, looking forward to the future. And with this, with this energy over here, it's like, this isn't somebody who really looks forward to the future. This is somebody who just kind of like, um, goes through the motions, get the the day to day, just does the day to day, and just kind of like it's humdrum. So I feel like in some way you kind of like inspire this person, you kind of brighten this person's mood, their day. Um, the thought of you brightens things up for them, and I feel like since meeting you or since thinking about how this connection could progress, their regular life feels kind of drab. It feels kind of like blah because there's so much happiness, there's so much potential um, with you and they can't stop thinking about that. So I think this person is very aware of how happy you make them and um, it feels like without this connection or since this connection, like they've been sort of just drifting along with no real direction or they were drifting along with no real direction before you came into their life. Um, I feel like, like this person fakes it really, really well, um, which is so interesting because you have you pick the mask. So it's like this person wears a mask and they can fake it like they can, you know, get up every day, go to work, do the thing, whatever it is that they have to do. Um, nobody would know that they're feeling kind of like Ugh, about life, but they do. And I think especially since imagining this future with you, everything seems kind of dull. It's like everything's in black and white. And with you, they see the full spectrum of color. So yeah, they fake it pretty well. Uh, I don't think pe most people would know that they're just kind of like going with the flow, but they're longing for some kind of excitement. And it's like the kind of excitement that you bring into their life. You make them smile. Um, your last conversation or interaction with them might have been something that was really lighthearted, that really um, lifted their mood. Even if this wasn't a lighthearted conversation or interaction, this last conversation, it's like they were still happy to be seeing you or they were still happy to be talking to you. There's something about when the two of you connect that just makes them happy. So they were just happy about that, even if it didn't go the way that they wanted it to. It's like somehow you manage to lift their spirits no matter what the circumstances are. And, um, they like being playful with you. Like they like this kind of playful energy that the two of you have. Um, things just feel better. Like things seem to flow better. Things seem more exciting when they're around you. And that's what they're thinking about. Like that's the impression. That's the lasting impression that it, it's just a whole lot of fun. You might have laughed a lot together. You might have joked together. Maybe you like you, you two get each other's sense of humor or something like that. Let's look at the tarot and um, see what's going on. Number three. 
number three. What was going on for this person the last time the two of you saw each other? The last time the two of you spoke? What did they feel? What were they thinking? What was going on? The last time the two of you spoke or saw each other, number three, what did they feel? What were they thinking? We'll take the Queen of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> the Knight of Wands in reverse. What did they feel the last time the two of you saw each other, the last time the two of you spoke? Number three. What's going on for your person? Uh, yep. What was going on for your person the last time the two of you saw each other or spoke? Let me move everything up. Yeah. Two knights here. There's there's movement here. This person wants um, some kind of movement. Wow. Eight of Cups coming out in reverse. For some of you, this is a past connection. Um, we were kind of talking about this. This is the feeling of them wanting to come back. Them wanting to... Um, kind of re, <laughs> why do I want to say reinvigorate? That's weird. Um, <laughs> wanting to restart something, wanting to, wanting to strike something up um, from what they previously walked away from, wanting to start something new with the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Magician. Um, gosh, this person wishes so much that they could create something more with you. And if this is a feeling of like somehow this connection slipped away, it slipped through their fingers, they want to figure out how to get this connection back on track. Um, there's an offer that wants to be made here with the two knights. I feel like there is some hesitance or some something kind of restricting this with the Knight of Wands showing up in reverse, but the offer is very genuine. The Knight of Cups, it's a very um, sweet offer. It's a very romantic offer. It's a romantic gesture. This could even have to do with them wanting to give you some type of gift, um, wanting to ask you out, wanting to even in some cases propose to you. Yeah, there's really an offer of commitment here is is what they want and what they're thinking about. And I think the reason that this is on their mind is because there's this feeling of happiness. And I, I feel like for them, it's very obvious that you make them happy because they have been in other scenarios where they haven't been so happy. And they maybe even don't feel all that happy and inspired on a day-to-day -day basis. And that could be why it's like, when you come into their life, when they get to talk to you, when they see you, and, and when they did um, see or talk to you this last time, it was like a real, um, it's like it shined a light on something. It was a real juxtaposition. <laughs> um, it's like I was feeling this way and now I'm feeling this way. I can definitely tell the difference. It's very, like, it is very different. Um, there's this feeling of wanting to communicate openly with the Queen of Swords, wanting to express something. And I feel like that that feeling of wanting to communicate and express is sort of being like cut off by this Nine of Wands in reverse. This is like they want to communicate about the passionate feelings they have towards you. But instead of doing that, it's like they go into this hermit energy, which is really reminding me of the fish energy. So we have Virgo energy there. Um, It's, it's really reminding me of this kind of dark, this dark place. The hermit doesn't necessarily go with the flow. So I think what, what this person is in this hermit energy about is how they want to, how they want to continue, um, how they want to move forward with this. 
And so they've gone into this really, this reflective place. And I feel like it's like they want to communicate. Instead of communicating, they're reflecting. They're going internal. And I don't know if this person is typically an introvert, but they're definitely in an introverted space about this. And they want to, like they want to either start something new or they want to start something over. For a lot of you, they want to start something over because you have this eight of cups here in reverse. They want to come back. They want to like try again. But the page of pentacles again is like the energy of starting something new, the energy of there being potential there. Um, there's also this feeling that they want to like, they want to take charge of this situation. They want to um, manifest something with you. And I think that hermit energy is kind of bringing them to this place of like exploring what they could manifest or what they want to manifest with this magician energy here. I think there's really something they want to create. They want to let the mask fall away. And I feel like that's part of it. Like this hermit energy is part of them letting that mask fall away. They have to first be in touch with the fact that they might not be happy about everything that's going on in their life. Because I feel like this last interaction really made them see that. Um, there was a real big difference. And you know what? This is really interesting, but for some of you I'm hearing this last interaction, even if it happened a lot, like a while ago, this person may have since entered in a new relationship or even if they're not in a new relationship, it could be that they're reminiscing about how happy they were um, before. So like how happy they were with you or when the two of you communicated because I feel like this energy could be the energy of someone they're definitely comparing two things. They're comparing like kind of this, this darker energy with this lighter energy. And it really could have happened at any point. It could be that they experienced the darker energy and then they experienced the lighter energy and went, whoa, that's a difference. Or it could have happened in reverse. They could have actually experienced this lighter energy with you in the past. And now they're seeing that nothing is quite living up to it. Nothing, um, nothing can compare to that energy. So the last time the two of you uh, spoke, it has them thinking a lot about making some sort of offer, even coming back, coming out of the shadows, but it feels like there's a lot of work that they've wanted to do, a lot of introspection that they wanted to do, and a lot that they don't want to say, but that they want to think about, they want to contemplate. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. Okay, we have this six of um, swords fall out right away and it kind of fell out off to the side um, I think it's coming out in reverse I'm going to grab another card um, to, to further clarify this Queen of Swords maybe even clarify that mask card that might be clarification for the mask card Queen of Swords. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of happiness that they feel like is out of reach or some kind of happiness that they can't access right now. And I feel like that's what they want to talk to you about. It's this energy of like, um, feeling like I'm really happy when I'm with you or you really light up my life you light up my day um, things feel better around you like think like I feel like I have it all when I'm with you but it does it, it's like this is what they want to communicate about and I feel like they want to move away from pretending like they want to move away from this energy of pretending to be happy or pretending that everything is okay, pretending that they're satisfied with the situation. Um, they want to be real. So I, I feel like there's this feeling of like the mask wanting to slip, wanting to fall away. They're, they're kind of um, being introspective about, about how they want to move forward, about what decisions they want to make. Do they want to keep wearing the mask or do they want to be real? Um, yeah, it's crazy. I feel like something about your energy really sparked all of this for them. It has them looking at circumstances differently. It has them looking at like, what do I really want? Who do I really want to be? And who do I want to be able to be? Um, do I want to just go through life pretending? Or do I want to be like actually happy? Because I feel like 
they feel like there's a like a sense of being actually happy and and having actual potential here why is this knight of wands in reverse Why is this Knight of Wands in reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Hmm. Eight of Swords. That's a mental, that's a mental prison. So this is like somebody who doesn't really want to act on their feelings or they're afraid to act on their their feelings and this passion that they're feeling because they're in kind of a mental prison i'm going to take all the cards that came out to clarify that um four of cups so feeling dissatisfied with something and the king of swords um <laughs> There, this person wants to tell you a lot. There's a lot that they want to say. You have the king and the queen of swords. So this is like also kind of giving me the feeling that they want there to be a real open communication between the two of you. And this could even be an indication that the last time the two of you saw or spoke to each other, that there was really open communication. There might have been something that was said or they felt that like the communication was vibing in some way. Something was shared and expressed. Both of these cards coming out in the upright. Um, but this might just be a desire to communicate more. But I feel like what this person wants to communicate with you about is how they feel restricted in being able to um, express to you all of these feelings that they have and what in their life isn't really satisfying them. They want to tell you about how happy they are with you and, and how satisfied they feel when the two of you are together. Um, but there's like this hesitation to act on that. And I'm, I'm also very curious, has there been open communication about this? Because I see two parties communicating um, very openly and very almost straightforward and, and to the point about this. So there could have been a time when there was really straightforward communication about this. And this could have even been the last time you spoke to this person. What's up with the hermit energy? What's going on with this hermit energy? A lot of Libra energy here, by the way. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. The hermit is being clarified by the emperor and the three of pentacles. Um, this person is kind of in this introspective time in order to figure out how they want to move forward. And it's like... I think that they want to figure out how they move forward with you because I, I'm picking up on the sense that like they don't want to move forward without you. So they're trying to figure out how to do that. Like how can they um, almost lead in this? Aries energy coming through really strong. How can they lead in this? Um, Almost like they need to figure out with this hermit energy which direction they want to go in before they'd be able to lead the way here. But I think that what's happening is the two of you really see something special in each other. Like you see each other's unique attributes. You see um, you see deeper into each other than like the average person. And that's one of the things that makes them really happy about this connection because they do like they feel seen. They, they feel appreciated and acknowledged in this. Um, the emperor can also kind of give me this almost stoic feeling, this, um, this kind of feeling of like having a poker face in a way. So I wonder if this person is trying to be kind of stoic about this connection right now. Um, they might, they might, it, while they're in this introspective energy, it's like they're trying not to show too much. They're trying not to let on. Um, about about these feelings especially the deeper feelings but they are trying to figure them out they're trying to figure them out they're trying to reconcile a lot within themselves I think like <laughs> especially with this mask thing it's like they're really trying to figure out what they want it's you're it's so interesting how you guys are getting so many cards to clarify so I feel like this person is like they're thinking about this from so many different angles they're really in this hermit energy 
And the hermit is like, hermit energy really, it's still because it's contemplative. So it's like, let's contemplate this next move. But then you have this emperor energy um, clarifying it. So yeah, they're really, they're thinking about next steps. They're thinking about next moves and they want to be sure. They want to be sure that they have um, done the work, that they've been introspective enough, that they've explored their feelings enough before they make any sort of move. And as we're talking about that, we're on to the Knight of Cups, which is, um, it is an offer. So let's clarify that Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Whew, Two of Cups. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, they want to make you an offer. Like I don't, there's like almost nothing else to be said when the Two of Cups is clarifying the Knight of Cups. This is someone who wants to come forward and um, let you know how happy you make them, how much of a team they think you are, how um, how balanced they think your your connection and your interaction is and like how good you are for each other that's what this person wants to tell you like especially because they can feel how good you are for them they can just feel that in how you make them feel when the two of you are around each other or when the two of you talk they can feel that so we have some some Gemini energy coming through with this <sighs> yeah this is why they want to make the offer. Two of Cups energy, why they, why they want to make that offer because they just see this being such a balanced partnership, such a, a like it was meant to be. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse, why is this here? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse here? So the Nine of Wands. Um, this card keeps showing up. This is walls. This is like walls that have been put up. Um, keeping some sort of boundary. This person may have been keeping boundaries in place between the two of you and now they don't want to do that anymore they want to be more open so again if this is a past connection there could have been a wall up there could have been a time when um when there was no communication or when communication was very very scarce and you didn't really know what was going on because they had a wall up but this is them wanting to like break that wall down move back toward um, toward you, toward that energy. And this also can just be somebody who's very, very guarded. Um, they might just be protective of their feelings over their emotions. They might want to run from their emotions a lot. Let's clarify this Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The Wheel of Fortune. Um, yeah, they think this is fate. This feels like fate to them. They with the page, we're looking at a lot of potential. We're looking at um, a lot that has yet to be seen, but they can kind of feel that it's right. And the Wheel of Fortune is is like this feeling of luck, this feeling of um, things finally turning around. So it's like they see this connection as this bright spot that's kind of turning things around for them. They see the potential and they don't think it happened by accident. They don't think that maybe this desire to rekindle this, um, this flame for some of you, they don't think that that's happened by accident. It could even be that they, um, that they feel like they've been kind of led to this point. Yeah. Um, bottom of the deck, the magician. <laughs> Did that not happen before? Did that not happen before? They, it's like they want to, um, they want to, they want to figure out how to make this work. Um, this, this card keeps showing up unless I'm mixing you guys up. Am I mixing you up with, with another pile? I feel like this was the bottom of the deck energy before. Um, either way, it's, they want this to happen. They want to figure out, like they're focused on it. They're focused on how they can create this. They're inspired to try to, to create this, to try to manifest this. And it's like, they feel like they have everything that they need in order to do this they might just need some more time to figure it out like to figure out what steps they want to take 
uh, yeah, they're they're interested in really manifesting more of a connection. Let's pull some oracle cards and see. Wow, I think I just blew your candles out, you guys. Should we continue? <laughs> we'll continue. What else is going on? I just can't vibe with it. Maybe try not to shuffle right at the candles. I don't know. <laughs> um, that really could have been some sort of symbol that like something ended in this connection. There was a break. Um, like the flame went out or something like that at, at some point in this connection. Especially because both of them went out. It's kind of weird. What's going on for... Um, this person. So we had judgment, empathy, indecision, and death come out. Jeez. So if we were looking at a tarot deck, we have two cards, judgment and death, um, that would be major arcana cards. So this is like, these are big themes for this person, things that are very important, important transformation, important wake up calls. I feel like that's what this person's going through, uh, a series of wake up calls and, and some introspection. And when they, the last time they spoke with you, this kind of spurred that, um, really tapping into their deep emotions, really seeing things from your side, especially if this is a, a connection where you have been together in the past, they're seeing things more from your side now, but they're really tapping into their emotions. And then we have this indecision card. And this card says, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So tapping into that intuition, we did have the two water signs coming out. So um, that is an indication of intuition. I think this person does have an intuitive knowing about this connection, especially with that Wheel of Fortune card coming out. Um, there's something here that feels very faded to them. Let me be careful about my shuffling. Let's get some messages from this person. What do we have for number three? What does this person want to communicate? How did they feel after this last interaction? I wish things could be different. I, I strongly um, connect to that because that, that's kind of that perfect energy where we're talking about like the difference between just kind of going through life and actually being happy. Um, so this last interaction helped them to see that they really want to be in that happy energy more. They really want to be um, in this two of cups with you. They want to have that partnership. They want to have that connection. They want to tap into their emotions. We have I'm not available. Um, hermit energy. I feel like that's that hermit energy. They, they're they really in this introspective Time. For some of you, they could even be in a, another relationship since the last time you um, spoke with them. And that's what has them doing some soul searching here because something isn't really satisfying them at the moment. What else? What are their messages for number three? The timing just wasn't right for us. I, God, you guys, some of you really, this is a, this is a past connection and I'm afraid to contact you. That's the energy. Like I was saying that communication felt like it was cut off. Um, so they might be afraid to reach out to you again. They're not really sure what to say. They want to get their feelings straight. They're in that hermit energy, wanting to get all of this kind of straight so that they would know what to say if they were to reach out to you again. Let's get a few channeled messages before we wrap up. Gosh, these cards don't want to cooperate. Um, I wonder if that's about just feeling like things weren't lining up right in this connection or something not working out. Um, in this person's life, even outside of this connection. We have, I want you to be mine. 
our time will come, which is so interesting because we have the timing just wasn't right for us. Our time will come. So they're very hopeful about this. There could have been something that happened in the past that like it just it really wasn't the right time or they didn't have things figured out then. But they are confident that your time will come. I know you have choices. And then surprise, surprise, I wish we could have a completely open and honest conversation. And that's what we were talking about with the queen and the king of swords coming out here. That's a completely open and honest conversation, very direct, straight to the point conversation. And this is what this person wants to communicate with you like that. And if there was ever a time when the two of you did communicate that way, they want to get back to that because there's so much that they want to express and that they want to share with you. They know that you have other options. And I think they're really focused on that because you make them so happy that they know you would make anyone happy. They know anyone would be um, glad to be with you, would be ecstatic to be with you. And there's this part of them that doesn't really want to like, they don't even want to imagine that. And they kind of feel like, like, I better, I better figure this out. I better get from, it's all under here, but I better move from that hermit energy into that emperor energy. Um, in a timely manner because I don't want this opportunity to pass me by. I don't want to stay stuck. That's that Six of Swords energy. They don't want to stay stuck. They want to move forward. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me read your cards. I hope this reading was helpful for you. If you did resonate with any of these messages, don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment down below, and hit subscribe if you feel like it, and hopefully I will see you again in another reading really soon. Bye! Hi number four, if you resonated with the turtle card and the lapis lazuli, this is going to be your reading. We're going to find out how the person on your mind was feeling after you last saw them or spoke with them. So. Let's begin this reading with some messages from the Animal Spirit deck and we will get an idea of what was going on for this person, um, kind of how their energy was the last time the two of you saw each other or spoke to one another. So, number four, what was going on with this person the last time the two of you saw each other? The last time the two of you spoke, what was going on? Number four. The last time the two of you spoke, I saw the rabbit. I saw the rabbit when I was shuffling. Um, so I feel like there was some kind of, um, some sort of a timid or kind of scared energy, but that's not, that's not your card. I'm just going to kind of um, make note of that energy. What was going on number four the last time? Oh. Let me grab that. The last time the two of you saw each other or spoke. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Um, I'm taking the bottom and the top of the deck energy for this. So I just want to like make sure this feels right. Um, make sure that the shuffling is complete. I think it feels complete. So top of the deck energy, we have the whale. Oh, that's a lot. And <laughs> bottom of the deck energy, the firefly. How funny. Um, wow. I feel like there's something so... Um, so interesting that jumps out right away from this and that's the size difference of these two animals um, I'm trying to think of all the animals that are in this deck I guess there is an ant a fire ant which would be maybe smaller than the firefly but this is basically like if you took the biggest animal in this deck and the smallest um, it's giving me that kind of energy so really a mix of things going on for this person likely um, what comes out what jumps out to me is the whale really speaks about big feelings, um, not just big feelings, but also feelings that run really deep. Um, so there was like a, a deep emotional feeling going on for this person. You also have the turtle card. So interesting energy. I'm getting like um, a lot of water energy, a lot of sea creature kind of energy. Um, yeah. 
and a blue stone. So I don't know, this might be significant to you in some way, but this is really speaking to me about big, big feelings. Um, you might not be aware of the depth of feeling that this person has for you because they might kind of try to downplay what's going on for them emotionally, especially when we think about like going deep into the ocean. It's like you would have to dive really deep to get to, um, to get to where all these big feelings live. You would have to get this person to really open up to get, um, to get that information. And I feel like there's a part of them that might be trying to keep that under wraps a little bit. Um, looking at this, I think that your last interaction with this person was very, very significant for them, especially because it's almost like it, um, it sparked something or it woke them up in some way. And all of this really could have been sudden for them. So I kind of feel this energy different ways. It might have to do with how long you've been in this connection or how long you've known this person. For some of you, I think this connection, like something in this really sparked for them the last time the two of you saw each other or um, talked to each other. Like they had a sudden realization, like um, like a flash, a bolt of lightning, like something, an epiphany, something suddenly struck them. Um, for others of you, these are feelings that have been growing and growing and growing over some time. And it's I feel almost like they've tried to shove these feelings down with this whale energy. And it could be a combination of this for for others of you. I feel like this could be someone who's had a lot of feelings for you. These feelings could run deep and they could have been going on for a long time. And this last interaction um, even sparked something further. It even sparked more interest. It sparked more passion. It could be even that some of those more passionate or sexual feelings were born in this um, last connection that maybe they felt like deep emotion for you um, and they hadn't necessarily gone like the passion route and then something happened this last time the two of you saw each other the last time the two of you spoke where there was like intense attraction um i feel like your last interaction may have reignited something in them so it is like every time the two of you see each other or speak to each other their feelings grow deeper but um, in some cases, something may have been re reignited and that could have to do with this connection or it could be that some passion of theirs or some interest of theirs or um, something they had forgotten about was reignited for them. Yeah. There's this, I'm trying to figure out what this energy is, but there's kind of this feeling that they might worry that this connection isn't as significant to you as it is to them. Um, I feel almost like they aren't sure if they've caught your attention the same way that you've caught their attention or if your feelings are growing at the same rate that their feelings are growing. So um, with the firefly energy too, there's this feeling of something being really fleeting, um, like it coming and going. And that could be that this, this interaction was really quick. Um, they might feel like they're in and out of your life or you're in and out of their life or something like that. Um, Cause there is like kind of this feeling of like a spark and then it goes out. I don't think that the feelings or the passion or like this depth of emotion leaves. I don't think it goes out, but I do think there's something that feels um, like a flash. And it could be some kind of epiphany. It could be that something happens very fast or that these feel, oh, it could be that these feelings were developed very fast. Um, it just feels like this flash. Yeah. There's kind of a feeling that they want to connect deeper with you on like a more emotional level, but they don't have the time to do it. There's not enough time to do it or there's not enough opportunity to do it. I just feel like, um, I feel like there there might have been something where this last interaction made them realize something about you or made them notice you, or this could have been when you noticed them, but there's some kind of um, spark, like maybe you had never really noticed them before and then you did. Um, there's a passion here. I'm getting Aries, Leo, Sagittarius kind of energy. This person could be an Aries, Leo or Sag. Um, 
also cancer with a really deep emotional connection and I'm feeling like this person might place you on a little bit of a pedestal so it, like oh I it's hard to really sort through what's going on here but I do feel like this person might feel like you're out of their league or something um, it's like they feel that they can't get to you for some reason now this could have to do with distance physical distance but it's like they feel like like you're out of their reach and like they can't express for some reason something's holding it back and that might be because they just they see themselves as um small and insignificant and they see you as someone who has a lot of choices a lot of options someone who's very attractive um someone who maybe wouldn't choose them but it feels to me like they're trying to figure out what to do with all of these feelings that they have and whatever sparked for them. It's like they're trying to figure out what what to do with that, especially when they're um, they're feeling like they can't express something or they're feeling like they can't get to you in some way. And maybe this has to do with your last interaction. Maybe there was some reason where they felt like they couldn't get to you. It could be that this interaction happened over the phone or um, it, there was some kind of messaging involved or something and they feel like they can't physically get to you. Maybe they think that exploring this connection deeper, like it would have to be more physical. You would have to be um, in physical proximity with this person. Maybe they feel like if we could be closer, then I could express this or I, I could be more sure or I could pursue this. It feels almost like their hands are tied in a way. They definitely, they definitely think a lot of you. They see something really special in you. And I feel like they might, they might think that you are too good for them. Too much of like a shining star for them. Like they could never live up to it. Something like that. Let's see, number four. What was going on with this person the last time the two of you saw or spoke to each other? What were they feeling? Turtle energy, slow energy. I'm getting um, water and earth coming from the turtle energy. So they might have been feeling some mix of emotion, some mix between being really practical. There might be a practical reason that they... Um, are holding back some of these emotions so maybe a mix between like all, managing all these emotions and being practical we have the queen of pentacles here um <laughs> that's a very practical energy um in reverse came out in reverse but pentacles are are very practical very grounded the six of swords i Gosh, I want to say this card has come up in every single reading. It's insane. Um, wanting to move, move somewhere. Um, with this, with this group, I'm feeling like this person might want to move closer to you in some way, and this could be literally move. The two of you might not live near each other sorry i'm just looking at these cards because another card two of swords this is another card that's been showing up in a lot of readings um a choice to be made queen of wands another queen this person thinks extremely highly of you like i was saying they might feel that you are out of their league um the queen of wands energy is wow two of cups uh, the Queen of Wands energy is somebody who is very magnetic, very attractive, very desirable, and charismatic. They just see you as this, this bright star is how it's coming across. Like, you're the star, and they're like... They're just like a, a fan, like a humble fan. Like they, they kind of see it like that. Does that make any sense? Like they're, you're the, the famous person and they're the fan. Um, but two queens coming out. What else? What was this person thinking the last time you saw them? 
or spoke with them? How did they feel? Page of Cups. Yeah, so much of this energy um, is repeated and it's just really interesting. This is um, an offer that wants to be made. Again, they feel um, they feel very like imaginative about this connection. They feel like, oh, they're in their head about it. They're in their head, but you know, not, I'm not picking up on like in their head worried. Well, <laughs> let me hold my horses there because with this two of swords, there is a little bit of that. I'm not getting that heavy. We're going to clarify and we'll see, like, are they heavily in their head about it? I feel like they're in their emotions about it, but they are thinking a lot about this, but it's like they're in their emotions about it. They feel all of the possibilities. They're imagining all the possibilities. They're daydreaming like crazy about how this could um, turn out. And also seeing you as someone that's so magnetic, someone who's so just beautiful, attractive, um, and maybe out of their league a little bit, someone they have a lot of passion for. With this Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse, I get the feeling that they, the practical action is lacking for them. And that almost like, that almost makes me wonder because with turtle energy, I do get kind of an earth and water vibe because the uh, turtle can, um, be comfortable on land or in water but in this particular card this turtle is it's like a sea turtle it's in the water it's firmly in the water and so i was picking up on something like slow moving or a problem with practicality and then the queen of pentacles comes out in reverse so it could be that they don't feel um they don't feel worthy or they're not sure if they can nurture this connection there's some kind of practical move that they're not sure they can make the bottom of the deck energy eight of wands you guys might want to check out pile one. <laughs> I, I think I think this is the same kind of energy um, in pile one. So I'm just throwing that out there. This person wants to um, move this connection along fast, but they're going pretty darn slow is, is the feeling I'm getting. I feel like if they could sort through all of these emotions and if they could figure out how they really feel about themselves in relation to this connection there might be some self-doubt here if they could figure that part out they would move this along a lot faster because they just they kind of see you as the prize and they think they're really caught in this um this daydreaming after this last interaction they were just daydreaming like you haven't left their mind you have not left their thoughts they want to um move closer to you and this might be literal for some of you Eight of Wands speaks of that to me as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like they may want to move. Let's clarify this. And I'm also hearing make, make their move, make their move. So um, that might be where that's coming from. They want to make their move. Okay. Well, hold on. We had two cards fly out right as I was getting ready to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. And this has been happening in in every, I think this has been happening in every reading. For this first card, uh, it's been clarified by two cards. And in some cases, it's even clarifying the initial card that you picked. So we will see. Um, we have the Four of Swords and we have the Ace of Wands. Um, Yes. It is clarifying the turtle. It's it's kind of a slow moving energy. It's a contemplative energy. This person's contemplating what practical move they could make. Um, this Ace of Wands is speaking to me about a lot of passion and some kind of passion being sparked. There's chemistry here. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, I was kind of picking up on that with the Firefly. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming through again. So there's a lot of passion in this connection and I feel like this person might feel a little bit overwhelmed and feel like they're not sure what practical steps to take because of uh, the depth of feeling they're having. It's not just emotional, it's very passionate as well. What is going on with the Six of Swords? We have justice. 
they want to balance something out they want to make something more fair um this could have to do with um them moving like feeling like they need to take that step or um making a move towards you they might feel that they're their contribution to this hasn't been enough. Like they haven't been straightforward enough and they want to um, balance things out so that you kind of know where they're coming from. The Justice card really speaks about um, cause and effect a lot of times. So it's like they're thinking, if I were to make this move, what would happen? <laughs> like, um, how? what would the outcome be? If I spoke my truth, what would the outcome be? And this could be um, kind of speaking to this Two of Swords energy too, being uh, in this place of like, what would happen if I went this way? What would happen if I went that way? Um, they're looking for like a, a positive outcome. They're looking for a win-win situation. They're looking for maybe even potentially a compromise here if that's um, if that resonates for you, something that something the two of you could work on together or like feel like you're both um, like you're both winning or you're both getting what you want out of the situation. Overall, the Justice card really talks about truth coming out, truth coming to light. And um, if this is a situation where there's a distance between the two of you, they want to close that gap, whatever that means. It could be a physical distance. It could be an emotional distance. They want to close that gap and they want the truth of that to be revealed. They want to, um, they want to express, yeah, they, they're, they're really wanting to express how they feel and they're wanting to express, I'm getting all this, like all this these messages about practicality. So there's something about being practical that they want to express some practical move that they can make. Um, what's going on with the two of swords? The eight of swords, another, another card that keeps showing up. So there's a lot of mental, um, blocks here, a lot of mental imprisonment. There's a decision this person has to make, a decision whether or not to act, a decision whether or not to let this truth be revealed. And they're on the fence about it. They, they can kind of see it going, um, two ways, both ways, of, or maybe a number of ways. They can see that the outcome might not be the best. I feel like this is, um, this is because they, they kind of feel like you're out of their league or like there's something about this that that might not work out and there's kind of like i could say this but i could also I, I might be rejected or if i say this i might cause a problem um somewhere else because it's uh, it's like they can't see their way out of it but the, like the simple way out of it is to communicate but there's some reason that that might not be possible for them right now or that they're hesitating to do that clarify this queen of wands No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Why, why, why? Here we go. Let's clean that up and let's get one card to clarify this Queen of Wands, please. Let's not dishevel all of the cards. I'm trying to mix up the messages here. Mixed messages? <laughs> Could that be a theme for this connection? Are there missed messages? Mixed messages here? We have the King of Cups in reverse. Oh my gosh, you guys definitely definitely i just i can't i can't get any more confirmation of this this is the king of cups is somebody who's very in touch emotionally and i i feel like this person really is i feel like their emotions are deep they just don't feel that they can express them they feel like um god they, they just think the world of you that's the thing they think the world of you and i feel like being in that place of admiration almost has them like tongue-tied kind of has them um, kind of has them not knowing, <laughs> not knowing what move to, to make. It's like, there's so much here. There's so many feelings here. Two of cups. Clarify the two of cups for me. What's going on with this two of cups? The seven of wands. Um, kind of a defensive energy here, kind of a protective energy. This might have snuck up on them. Um, we were kind of talking about that, like this last interaction really might have sparked something or these feelings have been growing and they've been trying to push them down. Imagine these wands that are 
um, kind of coming in, presenting a threat. Imagine them as the feelings that are kind of creeping up on this person. And uh, look at this guy's face. I feel like this guy's like, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, um, like, like get back. It, it, that's the kind of feeling it gives me. Like, push all that down. This is a bit much here. Um, that's the vibe that's giving me with that two of cups energy. These feelings may have snuck up on this person. The depths of these feelings may have, the depth of these feelings may have snuck up on this person. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like it could have either happened really fast or it just happened very strongly for this person. And they feel like, they might need to like try to slow things down with that turtle energy four of swords try to slow it down try to figure it out try to get a handle on it but it's almost like this feeling of being out of control a little bit um the death card with the page of cups so this is a, a transformation some kind of change that this person wants to make um maybe a change to to be able to sort through these deep emotions we have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck some kind of internal conflict I feel like is what's going on for this person because there's just so many there's so many emotions I what was this last interaction because this was either like a conversation um this could even be that this last interaction was your first interaction with this person and the way that they felt was like shocking to them like like they think how could I click with somebody like that so fast how could it just like boom just happen so fast is what this feels like um or this could be that some kind of feeling was reignited for this person the last time the two of you spoke or saw each other um why is this coming through i feel like this is weird for some of you the last time that this person saw you wasn't the last time that you saw them um you might be thinking of one interaction and I'm getting this feeling that it's a different interaction. They either saw you at a time that you didn't know they were seeing you or they've been kind of like spying on your social media because some of this spying on the social media stuff is what's blowing this out of proportion for them. They're looking at pictures. There's a lot of longing. They're like, oh my gosh, this person is so gorgeous. This person is so handsome. This person is so everything and they don't feel like they can live up to it. So it's like all these feelings and everything are growing and it's making them want to change something. It's making them want to take some sort of action, but now they have to get over like all of this that's come up for them. And that could be why, <clears throat> why there's this feeling of like emotions being sparked. They could have even been sparked from a distance. Um, and they're really, they're putting you up on a pedestal. They're, <sighs> yeah, you feel out of their league you feel out of their league to them. They're worried that you might be. They're worried that they they might need to, to change in some way to live up to like everything you're doing and everything you've got going on. <clears throat> Especially if they can see into that. If you post a lot, this won't resonate for everyone because some people don't have um, like an active social media, but I do feel like if you've posted like really attractive pictures of yourself maybe even pictures of you with other people or pictures of you on like great trips or something like that they are blowing this whole thing out of proportion to the point that they like they want to communicate this but they're also hesitant and they're having this internal conflict so let's pull some oracle messages and see what's going on trust Yeah, they're having to rely on their inner voice a lot. I feel like they're having to trust that this can work out, that you feel the same way. They might be struggling to trust that you feel the same way about them. <clears throat> the empathy card coming out. So a lot of deep emotions change. These are um, some of the same cards I was seeing in the other um, readings. And we have the death card here. So this is about some sort of transformation. something that might need to change. Um, I feel like this person feels like they need to come out of their shell a little bit. And that's kind of a, a change and a transformation that they need to make. Let's get one more message. 
Number four. What's going on? How did this person feel? We got two. We have fear and guilt. It's crazy. I, just, I feel like um, a lot of the same energies are coming out. So this person might have felt like they let they let something they let something go when they shouldn't have. They didn't take an opportunity they should have. And they're kind of afraid that they won't be able to get the moment back. They won't be able to get that um, that opportunity again. But also I just feel a lot of fear that like that you're too good for them. That you wouldn't be interested in them for some reason. I've been blowing out candles with um, my aggressive shuffling today, so let me light your candle back. Um, let's see. Messages for number four. Have, we need to let each other go. Wow. I wonder if that's what this person is struggling with. If they're struggling with the idea that they should maybe just walk away from this. Maybe they shouldn't try. There's so um, many emotions here that I feel like they don't want to walk away. But that they, they do contemplate it. Like they contemplate like maybe this just won't work. Um, it's like I said, they're... I feel like they're blowing this out of proportion. I feel like they, like, how do I put this? I feel like they sometimes wonder if they should just walk away rather than get hurt. The fear of getting hurt, the fear of revealing all of these deep feelings and emotions and like not having it go over well is a little bit overwhelming to them to the point where they're like, maybe, maybe I should just give up on this because I don't think I'm going to get to the point where I can express these feelings. They worry that they won't get there. What other messages do you have for number four? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I couldn't let you get close to me. This could be past. I want you. And so many things remind me of you. You're definitely on this person's mind. And I think you've been on their mind since this last interaction. Um, they've been trying to sort through some feelings that came up for them. Let's get a couple of channeled messages. I'm still learning a lot about myself. So a lot of growth to um, to go through here. A lot of transformation with that death card. That could be why they feel that you're out of their league. They, they might just feel like you're more mature. You Like you've accomplished more. You have so much going on. And maybe you wouldn't be interested in them. don't want to hurt you. I knew how special you are from the first moment I saw you. One more. I was ashamed to admit how much this scares me. Yeah, I do think that that could be that fear. I do think that this, um, the depth of this emotion, like we were talking about in the beginning, that whale card, it's big, big emotion, big emotion that maybe even is pushed down. And I, I'm, I'm thinking this person doesn't really know how to express that they don't know how to let you know that this can be kind of scary for them to venture into this deep emotional place it's it's a lot 
and it's just interesting that we have this I I was ashamed to admit how much it scares me and this guilt card so yeah um, kind of the feeling of shame or guilt associated with maybe running from some of these emotions because I, I feel like this person might run from their emotions a little bit so yeah I think I will leave it there for you, number four. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me read your cards. I hope this reading was helpful for you. If these messages resonated with you, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. And hopefully I will see you again really soon in another reading. Bye!